One week after the tragedy in Monterey Park, memorials and tributes continue to grow for the victims of that deadly shooting. KCAL's Lori Perez shows us how they're being remembered and now how the community is trying to heal. I wrote, hope you are feet flying and from the Rodriguez's from Canoga Park. 11 year old AJ Rodriguez told us he was scared and sad, but in the end, glad to come to Monterey Park Saturday to the place where 11 people lost their lives one week ago, because as he stood here with his family, this is what he felt. I hope they're all flying and I can like, I don't know why I can feel like the spirits. Others felt it too, like Natalie Moe, who came here with her dad to pray for the victims and for her community. Knowing that I could have been my parents, like that, that celebrated here that night, you know, it definitely was more emotional. These locals left one candle for every person in their family. One for me, one for my, my wife, my daughter. To show they are here with those who are gone. We are one with the community and we want to support the community and uh, show our hearts. It's an extraordinary display of love and loss. But this woman, who didn't want to share her identity, is worried the healing will end once the cameras and the memorial are gone. She works for county services and says many in the Asian community are reluctant to discuss mental health and disparities in access and care make it worse. She fears that's part of what led to the shooting and what could prevent real recovery in its aftermath. This mass shooting highlights, I mean, it's an opportunity to show the world that, you know, we need help too. We need resources. That's not being given right now. On that note, last week, the Biden administration announced a plan to address a range of disparities the AAPI community faces, including access to health care. In Monterey Park, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News. The man who disarmed the Monterey Park shooter 